So as you guys know, yesterday in the Black Ops 4 beta, they raised the maximum level to 40, and with this, they unlocked two primary weapons. First of which is the Maddox RFB. It's the weapon you've been watching in the gameplay. It's the weapon you're seeing on screen here. It is an assault rifle. And then the other weapon is the SOG 9mm. Now, I spent most of yesterday playing the game and using these two weapons simply because I hadn't used them for the rest of the beta, and what I found is that these were two of my favorite weapons in the entire beta, and not only that, I thought they were some of the best weapons in the entire beta, next to the ABR, which is a tactical rifle, which we're going to talk about in a bit, and this really got me thinking that this is probably one of the best balanced weapons we've ever had in a beta for a Call of Duty game, and it made me wonder whether this was because of the extra health or simply because the development team had more time to put together these weapons and discover a good way of balancing them, or whether the data that they're getting from the beta is really helping them balance the beta that well. And what this got me thinking is all the way back to the Black Ops 3 beta, where the Razorback was the best of the best weapons. It got nerfed to all oblivion after the beta. Then we have infinite warfare the thing that was overpowered in that beta was by far the snipers they were ridiculous they basically all had extreme aim assist you could just aim and it would probably kill someone and then there was call of duty world war 2 where the mp40 ppsh reigned supreme and by the end of the beta going into the full game the ppsh was still one of the best guns in the game and still to this day is one of the best guns in the game so weapon balance has always been an interesting thing when it comes to the beta and as far as these two weapons my favorite weapon in the game is the one you're watching here the maddox rfb and this weapon is the last weapon you unlock it's the level 40 weapon and the interesting thing about this weapon is it's good in every single aspect of the game it has a good fire rate good damage profile and very very low recoil and really no other assault rifle competes in quite that way the only other one is the icr and it just doesn't have the rate of fire that the maddox does if you're comparing it to the kn57 the maddox simply has less Less recoil if you're comparing it to the vapor the maddox simply has more damage in my opinion this is the best assault rifle in the game if not the best weapon in the game minus the abr again we'll get to that in a second now the thing that i found more interesting than anything though is i still think that this weapon is somewhat balanced i think it maybe needs a little bit of a fire rate nerf or a little bit of a recoil nerf but all in all i think this weapon is pretty balanced and it's because of the attachments that are available for this weapon you may notice that there is no rapid fire attachment nor is there any high caliber attachment what this means is that yes you can aim down sights and reload faster but there's going to be nothing that's actually going to improve the time to kill of this weapon whereas if you look at the rampart yes it has a slower rate of fire but you have high caliber one which does more damage to the head and high caliber two which does more damage to the upper torso this is a great way of balancing weapons it's something that's never been in call of duty before and all they had to do is to balance this was simply have different attachments on different weapons it's a brilliant way of balancing weapons but i still have to say i like the maddox a little bit better the other thing about the Maddox I wanted to mention has to do with its operator mod. It's called a firing unit. And what this does is it makes it so that every second bullet fires faster. And I actually don't like this operator mod. The simple reason, it really screws with the recoil on a gun that one of its best qualities is that it has really no recoil. So I actually really do prefer using this weapon without the operator mod. But it's still cool that it's there and available to use. The next weapon that you unlock before level 40 is the SOG 9mm. This is an SMG, and it is my personal favorite SMG in the game. Before it, it was probably the Spitfire, the weapon that was like the Vesper from Black Ops 3. But I really enjoy this weapon, and I think the reason why I enjoy this weapon is that everything with it is extremely fast. You reload fast, you aim down sights fast, you can move fast with it, and it makes an awesome weapon for run and gunning. The only real downside of this weapon is if you get in a fight from long, medium to long range, you're probably going to lose because it does have quite a bit of recoil and it doesn't do that much damage at long range but if someone is up close and personal you're gonna melt them and then if someone else is up close and personal 
you can reload super quick and then kill them too. It's an awesome, awesome gun for run and gunning, and in my opinion, is the epitome of a good SMG. But again, it's interesting because the way they balance this weapon is similar to the Maddox. They don't allow you any attachments that improve your time to kill. There's two types of stock, there's two types of fast loader, there's grip, suppressor, and finally, quick draw. If you ask me, you don't need the quick draw, and if you ask me, you really don't need the fast loader. I like the fast loader because I really, really play aggressively with this weapon. But as far as this weapon goes, there's nothing that improves its time to kill. And that's how it's balanced with something like the MX-9 that has rapid fire, which has high caliber. While we're talking about SMGs, we should really talk about the MX-9. This was the god gun at the beginning of the beta. And as of right now, I think it's just a middle of the road SMG. It's nowhere near what it was. It no longer competes with the Spitfire, and it definitely doesn't compete with the SOG 9mm. So really, it's just right in the middle of the road. But a weapon that I do think is absolutely godly still is the ABR. So this is a tactical rifle, it's a three round burst, and it packs a punch. Now I find that the ABR, I don't actually have any stats, but the ABR is about a four to a six bullet kill, leaning more towards a four bullet kill, but it depends on where you shoot the enemy. But the thing with the ABR is it has such a good fire rate, a, such a good damage profile, the only real negative is it has a little bit of recoil. But because of these two things, this weapon has a good time to kill at any single range. In close range gunfights, it beats out a lot of SMGs, and in long range gunfights, it beats out a lot of ARs. The only thing it doesn't really beat is sniper rifles but the downside is is if your enemy is behind cover it's a little bit more difficult to pick them off because of that extra recoil that they added in in the last update now once again i think one of the ways that they try to balance the abr is not having any attachments that improve the time to kill but once you hit the max level with the abr you unlock the burst accelerator and this massively improves the time to kill because what it does is decrease the burst delay the time between bursts and that's really what balances burst action assault rifles or any burst action weapon for that matter and because that gets such a big buff this weapon is simply godly once it's unlocked yes you have a little bit more recoil but it's not enough to make this weapon bad and in fact up close it beats some fire rates for some of the smgs once that burst accelerator is put on this weapon. Now, as of yesterday, they did nerf the recoil a little bit, and up to that point, I wasn't sure whether it was still overpowered until I was playing last night and got put up against a team who was all using the ABR. Every single player, all six of the players on the other team, because I was playing Chaos TDM, were using the ABR. And essentially, I couldn't kill any of them, and I thought, well, maybe they're playing as a party, maybe there's some better players, and they're playing as a party, all using the same weapon, but they weren't. They were all playing separately, didn't know each other, and they were all using it simply because it's a good weapon. And when that happens, that's how you know you have a weapon that's a little bit overpowered. So, the point I'm getting at here is the ABR, I think, definitely needs a little bit of a nerf, but the rest of the weapons are fairly well balanced, and I think that good balance comes from the attachments because they make it so not every weapon has the exact same attachments they make it so you can balance the weapons a lot more easily and i think that's an awesome thing to be added into the game and i think that's a great improvement from black ops 3 to black ops 4. Now, the one other type of weapon I wanted to talk about before the end of the video, I can't talk about it without talking about weapon balancing, is sniper rifles. So, I've heard a lot of things revolving around sniper rifles. Some people saying they're overpowered, some people saying they're underpowered, um, but I think they're in a pretty good spot. So, the biggest thing to balance sniper rifles in this game is that there is no aim assist. It makes it harder for you to aim, but at the same time, the time to kill is a little bit longer, which means a one bullet kill weapon is that much better. And I've run into people who are good snipers, much better than myself, and really tear things up with sniper rifles. And in those games, I think to myself, man, sniper rifles are too good. There's nothing I can do against this player. And then I try to use a sniper rifle, and things don't go nearly as well. And then I think, well, maybe they are balanced. So at this point, I'm kind of unsure whether sniper rifles are that good or not. And at this point, I'm just curious what you guys think. Do you think they're good where they are? Do you think they're underpowered? Do you think sniper rifles are overpowered? Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Now, the last thing I wanted to address before the end of this video is the two questions that when I'm streaming, which, by the way, my Twitch link is down in the description. I've been streaming pretty much every single day of the week, either Black Ops 3 or Black Ops 4 when the beta is out. Um, but the biggest question I get asked is, what is my favorite weapon in the beta, and what do I think the best weapon in the beta is? And there are two very 
different questions. So as of right now, my favorite weapon in the beta is the Maddox. This weapon is awesome. It's such an easy weapon to use. It has such a good time to kill. It has barely no recoil. It is my favorite weapon in the beta. What is the best weapon in the beta? 100% the ABR with the Burst Accelerator weapon mod. This gun is godly. The time to kill on it, I think, is the best for a non-sniper in the game, but I can't prove that because I don't have any weapon stats. But I think it needs a little bit of a nerf, and as of right now, I think that is the best weapon in the game. But that's my answer to those questions. But let me know down in the comments what you think of the weapon balance in the beta. Do you think it's as good as I think it is? Do you like that every weapon has different attachments? Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, it would be awesome if you could hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, be sure to stay subscribed to be updated on all my new videos. We have a ton of Black Ops 4 content coming, so be sure to stay tuned for that. But guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out. Paradigm.